after recovering for a week in Nashville and mostly getting rid of the disgustingness that we got sick with. It's finally time to pack up this caravan and head to Florida. We got a three day trip. Today we are driving from Nashville to Atlanta. I'm driving the truck with Dashman in the back and Daniel is driving the good old van. So keep your fingers crossed for us. We did try to get a hold of Mercedes to find out about that weird uh, sensor issue that we ran into on the way down here. Never got a hold of anybody. That's another annoying story, but keep your fingers crossed. The van will make it safely there. Now that we have both vehicles filled up to the top with diesel, we're going to go ahead and head on out towards Atlanta to see our friend Malia. That's where we've been keeping our Airstream Classic parked uh, while we've been gathering up all of our crap from around the country. Now, if you're not familiar, we took a road trip, not a road trip, we flew out to California, picked up our van, and then took a road trip across the country back to where we are today, which is Nashville. Um, we're driving two separate vehicles, so I'm gonna stop chatting while I'm filming, and I will talk to you in a bit. We have officially made it to the sweetest human being on the entire planet's house, Malia, who has been housing our Airstream Classic, and we're thrilled to be here. Dash is ready to be out of his car seat, so there's that. After a relaxing night at Malia's house, we got up the next morning and it was time to keep on driving. Here we are, day two. It is time to hook up here in Georgia. We've got the Airstream Classic 30-foot trailer that is ready to roll out with our van. It's been sitting for a little over two months, so there's some concerns that the tires might uh, not be able to kind of grip on this uh, moist grass, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you saw that video from my cousin's house, it did not go so well, but I have I have uh, full confidence that today is gonna go much better. We're really hoping it goes better because our amazing friend Malia, who we'll introduce you to in a second, you probably already know, She's the one who's been keeping it at her house, and we don't exactly want to do what we did to our cousin's house to her yard, because that would be really embarrassing. And then we would owe her a lot of sod. Raising the stabilizers. <laughs> so much work. Oh, so cold. <laughs> I have something called Raynaud's, where I've like decreased circulation to my fingers when it's cold. Specifically, a couple of fingers, but they just turn into like ice sticks, and it feels like it's just pure pain right now. And I have heated gloves, which are amazing. But we packed all of our crap so quickly that I don't even know where they are right now. <sighs> so Malia, our guardian angel here, is grabbing some of her gloves to help out. All right. How's the hookup coming along, Lauren? I'm crushing it. Oh, yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> now the moment of truth. Can we pull it out without ruining the yard? We have boards down here to try to help. Unlike the last one, my cousin's house, I'm gonna engage four wheel drive by locking the hubs, which was my biggest mistake last time. So we're on four wheel drive. Oh my god! You are 
Oh my God, it's been over two, over two months. Hey, I'm Malia. <laughs> All right, so not completely damage free. So we had torrential rains on Monday and Tuesday to the point where my basement flooded for the first time in eight years. So I'm very thrilled that this came out as well as it did. With the Airstream officially out of Malia's yard, it is time for us to hit the road and we're going on our very first caravan. So Malia is towing her Airstream. I'm going to be towing the van. And, well, I guess you don't tow the van. I'm going to be driving the van and then Daniel and Dash are going to be hanging out in the truck and towing the Airstream. What are you doing, dude? Are you already sleepy? Yeah. You ready to hit the road? Yeah. Are you excited to go to Florida? I think we're all excited to go to Florida. This is the first time, uh, well, since we bought the van, that all of our stuff is in the same spot. So that's pretty sick and exciting. T minus about 48 hours till we make it back to St. Pete. Oh yeah, and I'm just hanging out in here because Daniel's helping Malia with the last of her stuff. And it's freaking cold. Like, it's a good time of the year to be in Florida because it's really cold everywhere else. I think we are our very first Airstream caravan. There is three Airstreams on our little caravan, mini caravan. Um, Malia's gonna be leading the front. Lauren's gonna be in the middle, sandwiched in between the two longer Airstreams, and I'll be uh, ride caboose in the back. First stop, typical coffee. We've had some already, but uh, Malia's gotta get some gas. So she's gonna have to fuel up before she hitches up. She's gonna have to gas up before she hitches up. She's got a gas engine, but we won't judge her for that. But she already hitched up. She already hitched up. We are judging her for that. We are judging her for that. You know, these new campers, I tell you. Now I'm just joking, Malia. <laughs> See, this is Malia's wrap rig. Just got done with our brief potty stop on our way down to what, what northern Florida. Is that where we're going? Northern First Florida. stop. First I mean, stop. Is it just us, or do you always wait until the very last minute when you feel like you're going to die? You have to hold it so bad before stopping. That is yeah. so us. Like, leave a comment. Are you like a proactive one, or do you stop last minute and like almost die the whole way there? Yeah, that's what's going on with us. Um, we are probably a couple hours into our drive today, and the immediate thing that I noticed today versus, you know, the last week or so of driving is that you get so much more fatigued when you're towing uh, towable than you do when you're just driving the van. Driving the van is easy. It's kind of like driving your like, truck, whatever. You don't really even think about it, but when you're towing, you've got to be so focused that it just wears in your brain. So you get tired a little bit faster. Uh, so whereas with the van, you know, we were knocking out, I think our last day was like nine hours of driving. I can't even imagine towing for nine hours, uh, with uh, the Airstream Classic. So that's a big difference. Um, so pro for the van in that category, at least when it comes to driver's fatigue.
is up from Leah's Airstream here. Check out the back. Look, oh, it's got some eyelashes there. And uh, Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Dash is chowing down on one of his favorite things in the world, french fries. We happen to have some leftover in the fridge and he will eat them cold, hot, any way he can get them. Uh, but our next stop is a very fun place and familiar place if you've been following our channel. One of our favorite stops between Florida and Georgia. You're about to find out. Peanuts are the best thing ever. Okay, maybe only second to homemade peach soft serve ice cream. Look at his face. That was awesome. Mm, yummy. Mm. More already? Mm. You just eat them all. Yeah, I'm going to go to the store and get some more peanuts. Yeah, that's right. Fire truck now? Fire truck! Whoa! Whoa! Take it to the left! Hold on! Woo! <laughs> oh, next one! <laughs> Cold out here, isn't it? Do you want to go down the slide? Dash has a new favorite stuffed animal. Lately we've been on the Dragons Love Tacos train. If you have kids, you probably know what I'm talking about. He even has a Dragons Love Tacos jammies to sleep in, but he loves dragons and tacos. Stupid 
since we're still driving us crazy with nothing in front of the van. Thankfully not affecting the throttle today. Okay, day number two, officially successful. All right, Dash, last day of travel. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Okay, Dash, let's go check on our camping buddies. See what Miss Malia and Dad are up to. What's happening oh. over here, oh. you two? Oh, oh. I'm in my pajamas again. You're in your pajamas. <laughs> Those are camper jammies. Oh, camper cool. jammies. These are, uh, these are approved for travel. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I need travel jammies. Y'all about ready to roll? We're almost there. All right. Nice. I put Crisco in my black tank. I just learned that. Yeah. yeah. What? Was, what is this? John is... Lee taught me that if you put, if you clean your tanks out completely, put Crisco in there before you leave, if you're going to do it on a short trip, and you're not going to use the restroom at a rest area, just let it slosh around and it lubricates the levers and gets everything on the inside cleaned out. It's pretty awesome. But you said not corn. Yeah, not corn. Use just regular Crisco cooking oil. You know, just oil. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Where are you going, Dash? Yeah? yeah. Okay, gotta watch the road, okay? Can you hold Mommy's hand? Oh, you want Dada to come with us? No. No? Yeah. Not almost done, they lied. But it is getting sunny, and we're really excited about it. It's been forever since we've had warm weather. And Dash is enjoying the swings. Yeah. <laughs> Whee! Definitely a good time of year to be in Florida. <laughs> we are officially ready, ready to head on out. If you ever hear us say ready, ready, it's because 80% of the time when I used to ask Lauren if she was ready, she'd say ready. And then there was like three or four more steps left. So now I go, Lauren, are you ready, ready? And she goes, Ready, ready. That's when I know we're ready to roll out. So feel free to use that, you couples. You know what I'm talking about? Time to hit the road. Let's get to Tampa. True story, D is in such rare form today. I think he's so excited to leave. He can't even, or like to be in Tampa with all of our stuff. He can't even stand it. That being said, I don't blame him. Even if this thing is going straight to the shop this week, it's nice to have all of our stuff in the same spot. all these shenanigans what do you think yes or no would you caravan with us drop a comment below you know you want to we're really fun woohoo we are finally making it to tampa okay so we're making our final stop of the trip we are only 
think 45 minutes from our campground that is in Tampa for the RV show. And Malia is schooling us on something new. We are in line with a whole bunch of other RVs. At a truck wash. Maybe you have done this like one million times. But to be completely honest, Malia was laughing at us earlier today uh, because Daniel and I have never actually washed our Airstream. Um, we have maybe taken it to one of the places where we like sprayed her down a time or two, like on your own. But most of the time we have the dealership wash her. I know that's ridiculous, but it just is what it is. That's the only thing that seems to be convenient. We're always busy and we're always on the move and we're always about to go take another long road trip. And why do you want to get your your Airstream or, well, the van's new, so that's the reason why it's never really been washed. Um, why would you want to do that when it's going to get dirty again? I mean, it's a thing. So, but seriously, we had no idea that you could go to a truck wash and get your RV washed and it's not like a machine thing. It's going to be human beings. So, for those of you who haven't done this before, it's going to take you a lot. Obviously, I think we're the only people who don't know you can do this because there are just as many RVs uh, in this line as there are trucks. But the but T's going to do it too. This is going to be fun. Look who came to visit for this adventure. Are you excited about getting the truck wash dash? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, he has been such a trooper on this trip. The fact that we have just driven for hours and hours, for days and days. Dash, are you an epically awesome kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to put your seatbelt on? Yeah. Yeah, it goes right there. Uh, no. that. Mommy has one too. Huh? Yep, that's where it goes. You got your seatbelt on now, dude? Yeah. Did mommy help you do it? Mama. Yeah, mommy has hers on too. Right. We're so close. What's happening, Dash? I guess we just go in. Nobody's telling us not to. Okay, we're going to assume the answer is just drive on in. No one said anything, so we'll just like figure that this makes logical sense. Poor Woody and Buzz Lightyear. All right, the spraying has begun. What's happening, Dash? Is the van getting washed? Yeah. Yeah. Getting the full experience. We're getting the full wash and rain -X and the tire stuff. Okay, the van looks awesome. Shiny Airstream. I'm pretty sure this is the cleanest that the truck and the Airstream have been since I don't even know when. Like the wheels are even silver. Dang! 
just for the record, this is not a paid promotion, but true story, we're gonna be looking for blue beacons moving forward. Who's happy about a clean truck? I think he's happy about this amazing weather yeah. we're experiencing already. That has a very distant jacket. Whoa! Here, let's get done. Yep. She might hate us, but she's a beauty. It's time to get on the road. We're ready to be done with this trip. And just like that, our cross-country road trip to get the van and the Airstream Classic has come to an end. 10 days, a really nasty sickness, lots of time in a car with the toddler. <sighs> We're just thankful to be in Florida and excited to get to hang out at the Tampa RV show. But curious about how much money we actually spent on gas? We'll share that on social media after we get all your guesses in the comments below next Sunday. But until then, my friend, make sure you wander local this week because as you know, it's good for the soul.